Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Today we're looking at the 1983 DeFever 44 trawler C to C. She's got an excellent uh, all grip paint job on the outside. She's been kept up beautifully in the inside. And wait till you see the engine room. So without any further delay, come with me and I'll show you around. C to C is in excellent condition inside and out and it's evident uh, that she's been well cared for, for by her present and previous owners. She comes complete with 12 foot Novorona center console, the Yamaha outboard, 40 horsepower. She's plenty fast, I've, uh, I've been on her. In fact, uh, I brought this vessel for the current owner from Florida up to North Carolina. You can see the all grip still shiny. Paints in excellent shape. The handrails and all the teak have been painted for easy upkeep and a nice modern look. The current owner has fashioned this really nice platform which attaches making it uh, very easy to get up the steps and aboard. You can see we have stainless steel ports which you is nice for some of the newer defevers that have those. Swim platforms in good shape. Really nice. Shine all over the boat. So the platform mounts in the chocks for the boarding ladder. So there's a boarding ladder which can be attached in its place and it can fit on either side. Next to the nice stainless magna grill, we've got a fish cleaning table, some nice patio furniture, really a lot of space on the aft deck. Gel coat's in uh, excellent shape, nice uh, non-skid. You have um, a wet bar here, or a sink anyway, with storage uh, below. And of course a deck locker here, which serves as a seat as well. There's hangers for line storage. The overhead looks to be in good shape as well and well supported. Going forward on these DeFevers, she's a little narrow to start as you come through the arch, but then you find that you've got plenty of room to walk straight up the decks. The massive foredeck. Huge Maxwell windlass and plow anchor. Little seat with a hatch. The hatch goes down to the V berth, and then there's storage compartments on either side. You can see the enclosure, the glass is still nice and clear. Got deck wash down here. See the window frames nicely painted. And that brings us around. From here, just a couple steps up to the uh, flybridge, which is also massive. So much room up here. Got room for easily six people just in the seating area. And then forward of that, there are bench seats and a very comfortable helm chair. The radar is dated, but it works. 
you've got uh, two VHFs all the gauges and controls are up here that you need there's a new Garmin chart plotter an older Furuno GPS and a little Garmin GPS electronic compass beautiful wooden wheel tons of storage in the uh, underneath the, the dash on both sides and you can see the two bench seats here Now the cooler comes with the boat, as does uh, this chest freezer. Great Bahamas item. So you can load up with a month worth of food, head off to the Bahamas, and never need to touch a dock with the uh, very economical Ford Lehman engines, two generators, you can run all the air conditioners at anchor. Let's go inside and see how she looks below. You can go below decks on C2C either by the uh, door on the aft uh, sun deck here or by two side doors up uh, by the console. You see the salon is very roomy. To port we have a large U-shaped galley. Ice maker. Really nice glass top stove. Beautiful solid surface counter countertops and lots of counter space and cupboards a very nice functional galley even this large uh, pantry here is just part of it you can see there's uh, cupboards throughout plenty of storage and with the counter open to the salon you can stay in touch with your guests while you're cooking, so that's convenient. Refrigerator and freezer are new. All the appliances convey. Really nice desk and chair. Across from a large L-shaped uh, settee. The lower helm right here with good visibility, full controls. They've got the TV set up here. You can see on port and starboard, there are doors. They have screens for the doors, but up a couple steps and you're right out to the side decks. Distribution panel is here with your 110 energy management up above and your 12 volt down there. And below that is uh, the air conditioner for the uh, forward cabin. And in the foyer, we have the V-berth uh, forward of us. There, you can put an insert in here to make it a full bed. You can see all the woodwork's in great shape. I don't see any sign of, of leaking around any of the ports. Headliner's in good shape. And to starboard is the forward head. The vacuum flush toilet. Nice sink. We've got the dehumidifier going in here. Um, all in good shape it's a wet head but um you can pull a curtain you can see the parquet flooring is in excellent shape and just aft of the v-berth 
large engine room. We have a regular size washer dryer. The water maker has been decommissioned. Um, it just hasn't taken out, but it's assumed to be sold without a water maker. Two Ford Lehman engines. There's the power takeoff the, for the hydraulics to run the stabilizers. One stabilizer to port. You can see the floorboards, everything in here is nice and clean. Another stabilizer here to starboard, right next to the sea chest, which houses all of the seacocks, which you can see are all in excellent shape. It's even got a nice workbench here. We've got um, transformers to condition the power, new batteries, again the good old Ford Lehman, very reliable engine, and two generators, the uh, smaller Panda generator for running more frequently and when you need the power, there's your large Northern Lights generator gauges and whatnot there. Here's the uh, command center, the hydraulic center for the stabilizer controls. See large household size water heater. All the running gear is easy to get at. Now you get in through the door, but these hatches can be removed from the ceiling as well uh, and lift up the floor in the salon. So, very nice engine room. You can kind of stand up in. You got to bend over slightly, but um, I'm not crawling on my knees. Up the steps. Back into the salon. Each time I walk in here, I think it feels larger. And then the aft cabin. Nice uh, queen size walk around berth. Got a sort of a, a desk or vanity to port. And the uh, aft head. Vacuum flush toilet. Plenty of cabinetry. And very nice shower. And to starboard, you see you've got closets, chests of drawers, and a large walk-in closet, which houses the aft air conditioner. It has additional uh, cabinetry and storage, and uh, room to hang stuff. So, very nice uh, walk-in closet there. So that's C to C. Um, I think the vessel's in excellent shape. It's a very popular model, the uh, DeFever 44 Sun Deck. If you have any interest at all in a vessel like this, uh, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I'd love to get you on board. Thank you. I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes & Associates. Have a great day.